Hey everybody, Jason here of GhostbustersNews.com and as always Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube. And today's video we're going to be featuring another crazy rare item. How rare? Well, how about only 10 in existence? Join me as we take a look at this real Ghostbusters Ecto Glow Heroes custom of Janine Melnitz. Now I know a lot of hardcore collectors out there, they're looking at me, they're asking themselves right now, like, what, what's going on? Um, Ecto Glow Janine, that doesn't exist. Well, once again, that's why I said custom. Only 10 of these Janine figures were made by our friends over at Toysaurus and Toysaurus Games on Instagram. And when I heard these were gonna be available, I needed this figure. Like, there was no doubt in my mind, I had to have it. Now, price point on this Janine was $150 US, which actually kind of puts her, like, price-wise in line with the actual, like, secondhand market of the Kenner real Ghostbusters like Ecto Glow figures. If you're to buy them like in good quality sealed in the package. Now let me just clarify before I go any further in this review, this figure was not sent to us as like a promotional item or anything like that. I was there on the Toy Source Etsy page when this thing launched a couple weeks ago, just like tons of other Ghostbusters fans trying to get my hands on this and I was one of the lucky ones. And it sounds like I'm in good company because I know Lex the Robot here on YouTube, he was able to snag one of these for his collection. Uh, also the crew at Yes Have Some Podcast, they also got their hands on one of these too. So I'm super psyched to kind of join that small elite group of, uh, of collectors that once again can add this into their collection. Now, I'm gonna be brutally honest, like as you can see, I collect a lot of Ghostbusters stuff, but I have never, believe it or not, I have never owned an Ecto Glow figure. Like never, I I'm talking like I never had one loose, I never had one like minty fresh on card. Uh, so this is technically like my first Ecto Glow once again, ever. I think my big fear though, is that now that I have this Janine in my collection, I'm gonna develop kind of a need, a, a bug if you will, to get the other like five legit figures that Kenner released way back in the early 90s. I may have to spend some money. But hey, before I go out and decide to financially cripple myself on 30 year old real Ghostbusters glow in the dark action figures, let's take a look at this custom Janine. Now this figure is packaged in a toy shield custom container. And at first glance, I think you're gonna agree with me here. This thing like looks legit. Like it looks like an official Kenner action figure from the early 90s. Taking a look at the art first, of course we got the Who You Gonna Call, Real Ghostbusters, Ecto Glow Heroes, like all the font looks like to the T accurate and perfect. And then of course they also went out and they actually got this custom piece of art made. And this art was made by Jammer Lee, once again over on Instagram. We got a link to their profile down below in the description. And it depicts Janine busting the gruesome twosome ghost. Now before we take a closer look at the figure, let's take a second and admire the level of detail on the back of the box here. It has been beautifully recreated here with the Ecto Glow instructions up top, showcasing Peter Venkman busting the Spider Ghost, which was actually the exact same design used on all the actual five retail Ecto Glow figures. And speaking of those figures, here we've got the image of the, uh, the main five guys right there. And to the right of that, we also have an advertisement for the Glowcopter and also the Slimerizer. And as you've probably seen, there are two big no signs across those, meaning that both of those items never actually got released at retail. Now, there are some differences on the back of here. Of course, at the bottom here, we've got Toy Source's logo there. And once again, credit to all the crazy talented people that helped make this figure a reality. Now let's focus in on the actual figure inside the packaging. And once again, the level of quality here. I mean, this looks like, and I know I've already said it, a legit Kenner product. Above and beyond, I mean, this is a thing of beauty. And I love the decisions with the paint app here on the actual flight suit. We got the funky and fun neon and orange kind of stripe design going around. And also her name, Janine, going down the left leg. And when it comes to accessories, Janine does come with her face mask. Because the whole idea of that face mask is, well, you put it on the face of the actual action figure so she glows, like, entirely. As mentioned with the art, she does come bundled with a gruesome twosome. They look fantastic, and now the big thing with the Ecto Glow figures is that they're really the only, like, pack-in ghosts that ever received, like, some kind of, like, simplistic paint app. So as you can see, the ghosts are white, but the eyes, uh, they've been painted this kind of, like, pinky-purple color. And of course, since Janine is all suited up as a Ghostbuster, of course, she does come complete with a proton pack. Casted in glow-in-the-dark white, we got the purple cable there connecting the pack to the wand. Now one of the coolest features of the Ecto Glow figures was that each figure came with their own unique proton stream that could actually hold the ghosts they come with. And Janine is no exception here. Now being that the figure is packaged in one of these toy shield cases, it actually means that you can 
open the packaging up. And so here's Jean outside of the box and having that case open, like I'm once again just blown away by the detail of this figure. So good, I am so happy to have these. Um, once again, only 10 of these made. Man, so, so psyched to add this into the collection. Now, if you were one of the lucky ones that got one of these and you wanted to remove Janine out of the packaging, you can certainly do so. Looking in between the print that creates both the front and the back of the packaging, you will find that there are twist ties hidden, meaning that you can untwist them and take Janine out of the package. And then if you wanted to put her back in the package, you could definitely do so yet again. Now, I know some may view this as a bit of a cop-out, but I don't actually want to remove all those zip ties and take Janine fully out of the packaging there. I'm too afraid that I'm gonna tear the packaging or I won't be able to get like the, uh, the gruesome twosome ghost back in there properly. So I'm gonna leave it sealed, sealed in the box here. As well, if I ever decide to actually buy the uh, the actual legit five Kinner Ecto Glow figures that I really, really want now, I want her as mint as possible because I would love to have her displayed with those five figures that I'm, uh, I really, I really want, I really want them now. Ah, Janine, you've created a niche, a niche I need to scratch. But once again, before I possibly commit financial suicide and order all those Ecto Glow figures, um, let's, uh, let's, let's end off this video with showing you Janine glowing in the dark, because I mean, that's her gimmick. She is like an Ecto Glow figure. And once again, blown away above and beyond here. Whatever they've casted her in works perfectly. She's so bright, she's so vibrant. Every little piece to like the figure, to the mask, to the ghost, to the proton pack, everything pops so, so good here. It shouldn't come as no secret that I am absolutely in love with this figure. I think it was so worth the $150 US price point. Um, like I said, really the only drawback right now is I do have that itch to go on eBay and and buy the rest of the line. I mean, I don't, I don't need them, right? As a collector, I, I don't need the Ecto Glow figures. Like, I collect real Ghostbusters. I don't need them, right? Right? No. I don't. I don't need the Ecto Glow figures.